Well, let's keep moving then. There's also a bunch of other Pokemon we haven't got yet here by the looks of it, so... If I can try to catch them, that'll be nice. Let me see if I can do that. Or not. Got some quick balls, so... We can catch Pokemon of any level now. And keep training them to any level. Sludge Wave. It's fine. Critical hit. Still fine. Another quick ball. Gonna have to change tactics if this doesn't work though. Yep. Acid armor. Muddy water. Rock slide. Not very effective. Oh, there it goes. Well, I couldn't really do much else, so, I don't know, but there's more of them. I can come back if I need to, probably, hopefully. I really hope I can come back and catch anything I miss here. Also, hello, Scream Tail. Maybe I just can't catch them, and that might just be it. But I have no idea, so. One, two, three. So close. Hyper Voice. One. Nope. It'd be really nice if it hurt itself. But I guess that's not, that's not gonna happen. Ultra Ball. There we go. That's a catch. Very psychic. Also, great Tusk is on that list. Now, in the Pokedex. Oh, I didn't think we'd be catching the... Titan Pokemon at any point, but I guess we are. That's really cool, so... Let's try and catch some more. Let's start with a Quick Ball. This place is really cool all the way down. Just losing health in my Pokemon very slowly. I should probably heal to do something about that. Ultra Ball. One. Nope, it appeared to be caught. It's fine. I like catching Pokemon. Slowly. I'll get there one day. Please. Oh, there we go. Third and fourth stages of grief. Welp. Actually, I think the third's anger, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember what the stages of grief are. Well, that's a shame. Guess I'll have to switch to my next Pokemon then. Go Golden Go. Please Ultra Ball. Please just Ultra Ball work. I should probably be saving these, so... Well, oh, hello. Goodbye. This fight's going on quite a while. I can't do anything. I don't even think I can do anything to lower its health reliably. Maybe power gem? I don't know. It's probably just gonna take it out, unfortunately. Nope, we're good. Hey look, it's another one. <laughs> just floating in the background. Please. 
please, 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 nope. Arg, arg. Just power jamming over and over. Let me try a timer ball. Two. Nope. Come on, it was so close. I just, need, I just need to catch the Pokemon, that's all I need. I'm gonna power jam again. Please don't take it out, thank you. Acid armor. Just raising this defense. Um, gonna Ultra Ball some more. Really? It's, it's, it's health is so low. I have no chance of catching it, apparently. I should be able to catch it, I'm pretty sure, so. One. And caught, cool. thank you, finally. That took a while. But we're getting some more Pokemon registered. Which is good. Rock poison. Wow, getting attacked by Pokemon. <laughs> Scary Pokemon. So Crichton came out, came to our age through the time machine. When it lived here a while, then it lived here a while with the professor alongside one of its other kind. Seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or to its second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it. Sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jibe with how it's been... Yeah, I can't dodge the Pokemon long enough to see the rest of the text. Ha! <sighs> Why are you even going to do this to me, game? Hey, see, it doesn't seem you're good to go out of this ball anytime soon, either. Really, I thought it was just because it's scared. Because we were so high up. Huh? Who said you were scared of heights? <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> Might have been you. Given how Karate was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just think about school made me want to hide away somewhere. So I know how it feels. Aw, oh, Penny. So maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like my boss did. We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Karate myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it, not no one of us. No, no, you're kind kind of uh, unbelievable, in a mostly good way. Not unreliable, unbelievable. Get it right. I'm just trying to read all the text, it's hard. Especially at that speed, I'm trying to keep up with it before it goes away. I couldn't remember if I caught one of those or not already, so that's a good sign. But here's the last research station. Nothing gonna get to us? I guess so. Cool. <laughs> it's like I don't have to worry about anything. It's crazy. What's oh, so a hello crystals? Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all, all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Uh, come again? I'm so sorry. So sorry, so sorry, I'm so sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that, you're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children and in. children, 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 children. 
Initiating restart. The professor must be having some... Some weird connection problems or something. Huh. Well, it was definitely weird. At least. Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. You know what you need to do. Better press it. All locks disabled. Ah, 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 hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my pre previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it was. What do you mean, Arvin? Locks and all four have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here. Have you disabled the lock yet? More for leaving this place as soon as we can. That... that was almost like... no, it can't be. There was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dr dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for something for more adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe the even big time jazzed. You need to do some go to see a doctor. That's just not right. See, I'm pretty sure that that's what that call was really. Ah, uh, never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Jeremy. Electric Terror Shard. It's hard to pick up items and not interrupt stuff. But I want these stuff, so... Still Terror Shard. There's some sort of mysterious plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. This place looks really interesting down there. Poison Terra Shard? There's a lot of Terra Shards down here. Dark Terra Shard. Times three. I don't think I've got any of these, do I? No. I'm gonna try and catch one of these, quickly. If I can. Throw a quick ball. Nice. Very nice. I like to see it when it goes in one shot. That's why we get the quick balls. And hope that they work. Limit. I feel like it's best leaving this area in silence as we go deeper. Just appreciating all the beauty of this cavern. Whoa, what a... Um, have I got one of you? 
No, I don't. Interesting. You look very cool, though. So I'll see if I can catch you. Quick ball. Plus a main. Perfect. Nice. Love to see it. Ghost Fairy. Looks like all of these ancient Pokemon are all together in the Pokedex. Somewhat. Should probably remember to keep sending my Pokemon to fire as well. If I can. When nobody's talking. How far do we have left to go? Not far by the looks of it. Considering we walked all this way, it's gone by somewhat quickly. And gotten more suspenseful as we've gone down. Hopefully there's nothing else in this area that I need to worry about. I'm just gonna go straight for in here. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see the, if those legends of treasure down there are for real? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait. Why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a particular energy. A peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So, this entire building's been terrestrialized. Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gates to the Zero Lab should be open, now open for you. But once you open the gates, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Jeremy here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha, huh, well then. That, that puts all my worries to rest. I can't tell if he was being sarcastic or not. He might have been. He might very well have been. Open the gate to the Zero Lab? Yes. You decided to press the button and open? Hold it! Huh? Why? We're finally on the cru cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Karadon help? Yeah, if Karadon were like how, how he first saw it, uh, in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Ah, uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. I, it ate all those Herba Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it will fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it will be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Jeremy, let Karadon out. 
Okay. All right, come on, Jeremy. Now that we've got Crichton ready, it's time to open the gate. Family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. No, something's not right. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your, your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Crichton. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, the other Pokemon was giving off some really bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a, th a, th a thing about any of that. Once we get back, you you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Karadon was one of those dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say something say the dangerous Pokemon would come from inside. You mean from inside the, the gate we just... What the? We're surrounded. It's it's pretty obvious. They're not here to roll out a friendly walker mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me. Uh, they're all ancient Pokemon. We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. And I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Jeremy, let's do this together. Here we go. Gonna try and get the random hit if I can. Not that I really need to, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. Rapid spin. I should actually just try something else, but I don't know. I don't know. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Nope. It's only a 30% chance of hitting and they might be able to avoid it pretty well, so I don't know. Stomping tantrum. Oh, super effective against Lycanroc. Muddy water. Super effective. Very, there we go. That's what I should have been doing. Wow, they're strong. Now this is... Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side. But you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. 
God, they're coming. Why, why are they coming at me? Jeremy, help me out here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Might just muddy water and see how that goes. It's not very effective, so... Dark Pulse. Also not very effective. Use Thrash. Miss Cash avoided the attack. I could also Thrash. And it's pretty good, so... Hang on, what did I just do? Miss Cash used Thrash. Okay. Thrash again. Now we're confused though. It looked like I targeted myself though, so I don't know. How, I don't know how that worked. I don't know why it was that like that, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm supposed to be targeting it, aren't I? Well, there we go. Brute one, it fainted. God, the ancient past must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have some gi a gigantic mess on our hands. We've gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait. Huh. Huh. God, uh, hold on. Nimona. And why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this. I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Because it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one first. Let's see what we can do. I can't remember what the type of this is, like... Fairy Psychic or something? No. I can't remember, but I can Muddy Water this or Earthquake this, so... To be just regular effective, but still. It's better than nothing. Crunch, that's a good one. Thank you. See, the power of friendship had, had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You got- you worried you might have to face the other one of, of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Bob Mabostiff here can take them. So, Jeremy, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Wouldn't it make way more sense to group- stay in a group? I don't know. Glad to see you've got faith in us at least. Mabustiff can't wait to have battle either. Crydon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and, s and scared. Out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them, and you've got- us, too. So, so... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. Well, there we go, I guess. Let's go in. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Deactivating sleep mode.
Hello, Jeremy. Thank you for coming. No, back to your ball. That one is far less tech, uh, tractable uh, and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Karana fled Erizira because it lost its, uh, because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I'm not the true Professor Satter. Then who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number zero. Number four, that one. For some reason I thought zero would be the correct one. Pa passed away? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original Professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for Karadon to survive and thrive. That is why she th threw herself in front of your Karadon in an attempt to protect it. From the, the time I first reached out to the Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Jeremy, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and, as, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Booster energy, an item to be held by a Pokemon. Booster something something. Hang on. Hang on, how do I... I can't go down faster, can I? Unfortunately. I'm gonna pass it. Hang on, there it is. The energy that fills this capsule boosts the strength of the Pokemon. Interesting. With certain abilities. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm taking it. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Jeremy. It truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you ha may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that the fact this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original Professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is an AI really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the, uh, on the original Professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the Professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sata had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. 
what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a prim primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved to be proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the uh, ec ecological. Ah, I can't even say the word. Ecological balance of this mo modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient pro Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldia. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldia region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldia will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would requ require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor would e e ever des devised. Jeremy, you have to become a formidable trainer. Now use that you have become an informidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sato once cher cherished. Okay. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lost level.